All right. This is asking us, uh, this is uh, question two. It's looking for the first five terms of the geometric series. So all you have to do is figure out R. And if you can figure out R, you can just multiply through and get the next one. So in this case, we're multiplying by four. So one, four, 16, 64, whatever, 256 or something like that. This is easy because R is very easy to determine. Here, we don't know what R is because we're four steps away and we're forced to use our formula. Same with a lot of these where it skips one. So let's look at 2D. Let's look at this one for starters. Okay, 4 blank blank negative 13.5 blank. I'm going to write that down here. 4 blank blank negative 13.5 and another blank. And that is our geometric series. This is a 1. This is a 4. A5 is over here. Okay, to a 3. Now our formula that we know from our little toolkit here is a n equals a 1 times r to the n minus 1. Now fortunately they've told us a 1, which makes this particular problem a little bit easier for a 1. A, a, sorry. A 4, which is something we know, is 4 times r to the n minus 1. So A 4, which is negative 13.5, because they give us that, equals 4, which is A 1, times r, which we don't know, to the n minus 1. In this case, n is 4, so it must be cubed. So 13.5 equals 4r cubed. So, let us uh, let me make sure I got that right. Sorry for the pause. So, if we divide both sides by four, we get. Well, 13.5, let's just do a little bit of tricky math here. We're looking for r cubed, so we know that math teachers like to put textbooks together and give you nice perfect cubes. 13.5 isn't a nice perfect cube, but if I double it, if I double that, I get 27, and I know 27 is 3 cubed. So we're on to something here. Let's represent negative 13.5 as negative 27 over 8. These are the same. But the reason I do that the reason I do that, whoops, that's our cute, is because negative 27 over 8, I can easily show, is negative 3 over 2 cubed. Because 3 times 3 times 3 is 27, and 2 times 2 times 2 is 8. So 3 over 2 times itself 3 times will give us negative 27 over 8. So if this is the case, then r equals negative 3 over 2. And if r equals negative 3 over 2, I will multiply the 4 times negative 3 over 2. 4 times negative 3 over 2 equals negative 12 over 2 equals negative 6. And that means the next one is negative 6. And negative 6 times negative 3 over 2 equals 18 over 2, which equals 9. So I'll put a 9 right there. And just to make life extremely difficult, negative 13.5 times negative 3 over 2 oh boy is you know what, that's the same as negative 27 over 4, oops, over 2, negative 27 over 2 times negative 3 over 2 equals 81 over 4. I just changed this negative 13.5 into a negative 27 over 2 and that got rid of the decimal place and made it easier to multiply through the fractions. So negative 27 times negative 3 is 81, 2 times 2 is 4, 81 over 4 is the answer there. And what is 81 over 4? It looks like a 20 and 1 quarter. 
uh, I'd like to represent it as 81 over 4. So that is D. Shall we do one more? Oh, that would be exciting. Let's do one more. Let's do 2G. O G. 2G gives us this. And this is a big scary mess. This is enough to make you run run for the door. 3, then something, then 3 to the 2 squared plus 1, then something, then something. Never fear. First, let's write it all out. 3, then something, then 3 to the 2x plus 1, and then something, and then something. What do we know? We know that a of n equals a1 times r to the n minus 1. So the first a, thank you very much for giving us the first a, is 3. Whoops, sorry. Ah. This one here, the second one, is it the second one? No, oh, it's the third one. This is A3. So, A3 is two, 3 to the 2x plus 1. A3 equals A1, which is 3, times R to the n minus 1. And that's A3, so that's R squared. So, 3 to this stuff equals 3 times R squared. Divide both sides by 3 and we get 3 to the 2x. Make sure you understand why I did that. That's 2x plus 1. And we divided it by 3. If this was 3 to the 10th power and I divided it by 3, it would be 3 to the 9th. If this was 3 to the 6th power and I divided by 3, it would give me 3 to the 5th. So if it was 3 to the 2x plus 1, I divide by 3, I get 3 to the 2x. And that equals r squared. And if we... By the way, this here, 3 to the 2x, that is the same as 3 to the x to the 2, right? We just multiply them together. That equals r squared. And if we square root them both, we get 3x equals, oh sorry, eh, 3 to the x equals r. And if we know that 3 to the x equals r, we can start plugging it in here. 3 times 3 to the x is 3 to the x plus 1. x plus 1. And that's 3 to the 2x plus 1. And that is 3 to the 3x plus 1. And 3 to the 4x plus 1. And you have to remember your exponent rules you learned back in grade 10 and you thought it didn't matter for anything to put these all in here and get them all correct.